everybody and welcome back to my channel so here I am in another scenery yet again because today I will be making Valentine's Day themed cookies and I know it's a little bit early but the earlier the better so then you can surprise your loved one with these cookies and I've been dreading this moment for a really long time because I've planned it for about two weeks now and I'm so excited to film this so let's get started with the ingredients so these are the ingredients that we will be using today. I have not measured out anything at all, so it's in its original package. And while we go through along the recipe, I will measure them out just to make everything so much easier. What we'll need is a mixing bowl, a cookie tray right here, a rolling pin, which we may or may not need, measuring cups. These I got from my local superstore and it's super cute because they are hearts for Valentine's Day. Teaspoons. I have four different cookie cutters here. I have a wooden spoon. You can replace the wooden spoon with a hand mixer or a stand mixer, but I do not have none of those, so I will be using a wooden spoon. Pink food dye, parchment paper, or baking sheet. I have a reusable one right here. It's a silicone one I got from my local dollar store. Table salt, all-purpose flour, brown sugar, a bag of Smarties, Valentine's Day themed Smarties, half a cup of butter, which should be room temperature, my toffee bits, these will be my chocolate chip replacements, room temperature egg, I almost forgot one last thing, pure vanilla extract right here in this little bottle. And that is all. Before you start anything, you have to preheat your oven. Do not forget to preheat your oven. And for this recipe, you should preheat it to 350 Fahrenheit. Second step, you will need to add half a cup of room temperature butter. Then you will need to add 3 fourths cup of brown sugar. I have a 1 fourth cup, so add this three times. After you've added the butter and the brown sugar, use your mixer or your wooden spoon to cream it together. When you finish mixing your butter and your brown sugar together until it gets fluffy, you add one egg and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now that you've added the egg and the vanilla extract, you mix it together with your wooden spoon again. I just wanted to throw a disclaimer out there. I am not a professional baker, so doing this will get a little bit messy. But the next step is adding your flour, your chocolate chip cookies, but in my case, I will be doing toffee bits and your salt. So to start off, you will add 1 fourth teaspoon of salt. So add salt there. Then you will add your flour. 1 cup plus 1 fourth cup of flour. Using the same measuring cup, I will be adding 1 cup of toffee bits. After adding your flour, don't mix too much because your cookies may get tough or cakey and you do not want tough cookies. Now that you have combined everything, it should look like this. Next step, you should add your pink food dye. And I am using pink food dye because I wanted to incorporate Valentine's. So there's no certain measurement for your pink dye. You put as much as you want for your desired color. It's okay to get a little bit dirty. Now that we've added the pink food dye, and here it is, we'll be making use of the rolling pin. So first you should Grab some of this, spread it out, and add some on here too. Take, there we go, take that. 
that. And we are rolling this out because we want to cut some shapes, right? Now we should take our cookie cutters. I have four different cookie cutters and just cut them out. Ta-da! So just take out off the excess and you can make more. Now that you've lined your cookies on your cooking tray, here I am at my oven. You bake at 350 Fahrenheit for 8 to 12 minutes. Make sure not to put the cookies too close together or it will melt into each other. As for my oven, I am going to bake this for 12 minutes, but depending on your oven, you should check you should check on it often between 8 to 12 minutes just to make sure it does not overcook. It should be cooked around the outside and a little bit undercooked on the inside. Ta-da! So here is the final result. And I've made a batch without the Smarties and I've made a batch with the Smarties. But yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my video. This is my first ever baking video on YouTube and my first ever Valentine's Day on YouTube as well. So I hope you liked my video and I hoped it was organized and clear as I wanted it to be and if not, I will improve in the future. But for these cookies, my inspiration was Pinterest and I found a simple cookie recipe online. Both links will be down below. I just did a little bit of tweaking. I added a little bit from the two links. I added a little bit of each together and made one recipe. And I do not take credit for this whole recipe. The two links will be down below. So I give the credit to both of those people that posted it on their website. And I've also added the ingredients down below and I simplified the recipe for you as well down below. So you should go check that out as well. And I hope you enjoyed my video and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment as well. And happy Valentine's Day to you all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.